in today's class you will be able to understand to find the volume of sphere hemisphere and use them to solve the combination of uh, solids so let's quickly revise what have you learned in the previous sessions the first one is uh, oh let me grab my pen the first one is uh, area of a rectangle you are learning from your from junior high school time so area of rectangle is length times width next area of triangle is half times base times height why should we revise this formula it means uh, because when you are computing the volume of a, a pyramid or the volume of prism then you have to find the area of their base so the base is uh, either in the shape of a, a rectangle or maybe in the shape of a, a triangle or maybe square so that's the reason we are revising these rules and coming to volume of a prism prism is area of a base volume of prism is area of base times height as i mentioned before so if the base is in the shape of a rectangle we find the area of rectangle times height and so on next volume of pyramid pyramid is uh, you can see that uh, this is the pyramid the top has a pointed tip and uh, we take uh, uh, it's same as the prism but we include another thing that is one third one third area of base times height volume of cylinder in the previous session you learned here the base is in the shape of a, a circle so what is area of a circle means that is pi r square well volume of cylinder here the base is in the shape of a circle therefore area of base means that is pi times radius square times height so pi r square h in the previous class i explained that if you take a, a cone okay so the cone is uh, actually okay let me draw a cone the shape may not be so great i'm sorry for that but uh, if you look at this diagram the cone is uh, this is uh, one portion this is second portion and cone is the third portion so if you are given a fraction maybe pictorial graph oops i'm taking a pictorial graph so which part is shaded means you know that we say that one third right in the same way i see that there are three parts here there are three parts here right and uh, what is the value of cone means it is one third volume of uh, cylinder so you know that the volume of cylinder is pi r square h therefore one third pi times radius square h that gives you the volume of cone in fact this one we did, uh, discussed in the previous class well in today's class i'm going to take uh, the new topic which is a uh, spear what is spear means uh, in geography you might study that uh, earth is in the shape of a spear right so you might have been seen the globe or um, yeah so i think these example are fair enough uh, so in geography class you might have been seen uh, how a spear looks like okay now if i am taking a spear you know what is the radius here okay now it does not have any height or anything just uh, it is having only radius that's it 
no height, no width, blah, blah, blah. Then, how will you find the volume of sphere means? Uh, volume of a uh, sphere equals to, it is uh, 4 third pi times uh, radius cube. It is not radius square, it is radius cube. Okay, so you have to memorize uh, this formula. Let me take a, uh, okay. So volume of sphere is uh, 4 third pi r cube. This formula you have to remember, okay? Now, another thing is uh, hemisphere. So what is hemisphere, hemisphere means? It is half of a sphere. Okay, uh, hemisphere means uh, it is uh, uh, half of uh, a sphere. Just imagine that you bought a watermelon and you want to make it into pieces. So the first step is we take a big knife and we cut it into two halves, right? So here half of a sphere is the hemisphere, as simple as that. Now, what is the condition for finding volume of hemisphere means uh, volume of hemisphere equals to if you know how to find if you know how to find volume of sphere which is a four third pi r cube right so let me take uh, this one so i know that volume of sphere oops oh it's okay. So let me. Okay. Thank you for your patience. Well, so hemisphere means we have to take a half of a, half the value of the sphere's volume, right? Therefore, if I multiply this one with the half, what happens is. Uh, simple math, what is half of uh, 4 over 3? Half of 4 over 3. Uh, all of you are familiar with the butterfly method. So here I can divide 4 by 2. Right? So 4 times 1. Sorry, 2, uh, two times 1 that gives me 2. 2 times 2. And when I multiply 1 times 2, then I am left with the 2 third. Therefore, 2 third pi r cube, 2 third pi times radius cube, that gives me the volume of hemisphere. Again, I'm repeating, volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Vol I'm sorry, volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. And what is volume of hemisphere means? That is, uh, hemisphere means half of sphere therefore half of four third pi r cube that gives me two third pi times radius cube okay now let's go to the next phase and uh, solve an example first let's say that you are asked to find uh, what is the volume of the given sphere so volume of sphere equals to uh, don't get confused between sphere and uh, hemisphere pi times uh, radius cube. So 4 over 3 times pi, then here I see that uh, 18 is given, 18 is given, therefore 18 cube. Okay, before proceeding for calculations, uh, let me check, did I input everything correct or not? Think for a moment. If you find any mistake in my calculation, then let me know. In volume questions, in volume questions, if the student made a mistake means the mistake is here. I told you that, uh, please, 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 check uh, whether the given number or given value is it radius or diameter that's what you have to check don't go for any calculations first look at the question the given number 
is this representing the radius or diameter that's what you have to check first so i see that uh, this is drawn from end to end and passing through the center so this is not the radius this is the diameter so diameter is given that diameter is given that 18 inches 18 inches and always you don't think of how to do the problem first you check whether the diameter is given or radius is given you know that radius is half of the diameter so half of 18 that gives me 9 inches right so whatever the the calculations I'm doing that is not correct. This is not the correct one because there is a mistake. There is a mistake here. Okay. So what is the correct one means? I have to take, I have to take 4 over 3 times pi times radius is, please notice that uh, the value of radius is 9 inches. Then this goes here this goes here then i have to take 9 cube it is not a 18 cube okay so please 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 uh, always check whether the given question containing uh, the radius or diameter that part you have to check always okay before solving any questions in volumes this is the ground rule okay now it is uh, 4 over 3. I am not writing the value of pi. I know that it is 22 over 7 or 3.14. Instead, uh, uh, let me leave it as uh, pi only. 9 cube means 9 times 9 times 9. So let me grab my calculator, which is uh, 4 over 3 times 9 times 9 times 9. That's giving 972. Therefore, 972, and don't forget to put this pi. Again, the units are also should be included at the end. Cubic inches. Any questions on this? Well, I'm taking two questions back to back. Both are hemisphere. Then what is the need to give two examples means? Okay, let me start with my second question, not the first one. Let me take the second one. So the second one is, uh, you know, volume of a uh, hemisphere, volume of a uh, hemisphere equals to, you know that it is two third, uh, it is uh, two third pi r cube. Okay. Two third pi r cube. So two over three times pi times. You know here the radius is uh, fifteen yards, right? Therefore, let me plug in the radius is fifteen. Therefore, uh, fifteen cube. Okay. So here directly radius is given, so I need not break my head. Uh, whether to compute the radius or not because the radius is already given. Okay. So let me grab my calculator. So which is uh, 2 over 3 times 15 cube. So it is uh, 15 then cube. Okay. The answer is uh, 2250. So don't forget that it is 2250. Don't forget to include the pi value followed by cubic units. Okay. And here, as I mentioned before, always, before you start uh, computing the volume of uh, any problem, first you check uh, whether the diameter is given or radius is given. This is what you have to check. Okay. Therefore, I see that here diameter is uh, given. Therefore, diameter is uh, 24 feet and next uh, radius is uh, half of that. So, half of 24 equals to 12 feet. 
Now, let's take uh, the condition, which is uh, volume of hemisphere equals to, let me copy and, oh, this is the extra part. Okay. Uh, just plug in these values, 2 third pi radius is uh, 12 cube. Therefore, the 2 third is 2 over 3 times, I'm uh, skipping pi times 12 cube. So, the answer is uh, 1152, 1152 pi cubic feet. So, uh, this is the main concept for the day. That is, uh, how to find the volume of uh, a sphere and how to find the volume of a hemisphere. Now, I'm going to take a combination of uh, some solids. Uh, 